Hello learners, this is Jyoti Pandral from Uttarakhand Open University. I am an assistant professor in Department of Management Studies. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the functions of human resource management. So the functions performed by the human resource management can be broadly classified into two categories. The first one is managerial functions and the second one is operative function. Now let's discuss these functions in detail one by one. First we will start with the managerial functions. In the managerial functions the first function of human resource management is planning. So I think everybody might be familiar with the word planning. Planning basically refers making plans or we can say that planning is a predetermined course of actions. It is a process of determining the organizational goals and formulation of policies and programs for achieving them. Thus planning is future oriented, concerned with clearly charting out the desired direction of business activities in future. Forecasting is one of the important elements in the planning process. Other functions of managers depend on planning function. So basically planning, we can say that planning is a predetermined course of actions. We will decide in advance that this is our target and how we are going to achieve our target. For achieving that target, we will make a proper plan, a proper course of actions. Like for example, you have seen that if a student is there and a student is having a target or his aim is to crack UPSC exams. So for cracking that UPSC exam, he will have to make a proper plan that how he is going to cover the syllabus and how he is going to manage his time. So a proper time management is required, revision is required, covering of that syllabus is required. So for achieving that target, various steps are there. Similarly, in an organization also, the manager or the organization has a proper organizational goal. So to achieve that goal, uh, the HR manager also has to make a proper plan. The second function of human resource management is organizing. So organizing is a process by which the structure and allocation of jobs are determined. Thus organizing involves giving each subordinate a specific task, establishing departments, delegating authorities to the subordinates, establishing channel of authority and communication coordinating the work to, of subordinates and so on so basically after the planning so the hr manager will firstly start with the planning he will firstly make a proper plan and after performing the function of planning he will perform the function of organizing in organizing he will make a proper structure like he will assign the various jobs to the people and he will delegate the responsibilities to the subordinates. He will make a proper channel of authority. So all these things will be done by the HR manager. After that, the third function that is staffing. It is a process by which managers select, train, promote and retire their subordinates. This involves deciding what type of people should be hired, recruiting prospective employees, selecting employees, setting performance standard, compensating employees, evaluating the performance of the employees, then counseling of the employees, training and developing of the employees. So basically in staffing, as I have already told you that human resource, they are the important asset for any organization. So the HR manager has to make sure that he takes well care of his uh, employees because if your employees will be dissatisfied or demotivated, they won't be able to give their 100% and organization will ultimately suffer. 
so in this staffing function the hr manager looks after the training promotion and retiring of the subordinates he makes sure that timely training is given to the employees compensation is given to them then setting their performance standards all these functions are performed by an hr manager under staffing the next function that is directing or we can say leading so after the staffing functions when the people are assigned various jobs the next process or the next function comes that is directing directing is a process of activating group efforts to achieve the desired goals it includes activities like setting subordinates to get the job done maintaining morale motivating subordinates etc for achieving the goals of the organization so basically once the employees have been assigned their job they need a proper leadership so under the guidance of that particular leaders they can achieve the targets or they can work in a nice way so that's why it is saying that after staffing the next function that is of directing or leading under this function proper leadership is given to the employees they are being motivated by the leader the leader keeps on motivating the employees and so on the next function that is controlling so controlling it is a process of setting standards for performance checking to see how actual performance compares with the set standards and taking corrective actions as needed so basically as uh, we have studied just now i told you about planning planning is a future oriented similarly in controlling we are measuring the actual performance with a standard performance in planning step we have set some standards in controlling process we will see that whatever standards we have set are we able to achieve those standards or not so it is looking towards uh, looking towards the past basically in controlling you will compare the actual performance with the planned performance and if it is good if the actual performance is equal to the planned performance then well and good if the actual performance is not up to the uh, standard performance then proper corrective measures will be taken up that what were the reasons because of which we are not able to achieve our target so proper corrective actions will be taken up by the hr manager now the next comes that is operative functions the operative also called service functions are those which are relevant to specific department these functions vary from department to department depending on the nature of the department viewed from this standpoint the operative functions of hrm relate to ensuring right people for right jobs at right times these functions include procurement development compensation and maintenance functions of hrm now firstly let's start with the procurement it involves procuring the right kind of people in appropriate number to be placed in the organization it consists of activities such as manpower planning recruitment selection placement and induction an orientation of new employee so the first operative function performed by an hr manager that is procurement under the function of procurement the hr manager will select a right candidate for a right job he will assign firstly he will start with the manpower planning he will decide that how much manpower is required for performing a particular task after manpower planning then he will recruit them recruitment means apply inducing more and more candidates to apply for a particular job once the uh, once the organization will get a proper application from the candidates after that the hr manager will make sure or he will select the well uh, qualified candidates for that particular job after the selection of the candidates the next come that is induction and orientation of the employees 
so here we can see that under procurement various functions which are performed by an hr manager are manpower planning recruitment selection placement orientation and induction of a new employee now the next function uh, the next operative function which is performed by an hr manager is development so this function involves activities meant to improve the knowledge skills aptitude and value of employees so as to enable them to perform their jobs in a better manner in the in future these functions may comprise training to employees executive training to develop managers organizational development to strike a better fit between organizational climate or culture and employees so basically under the function of development the uh, hr manager will look after the development the personal development or the professional development of an employee he will make sure that timely training is given to the employees the employees must be upgraded with the new skills which are coming in the market so he will just look after the development of the employees the next operative function performed by an hr manager is compensation so compensation function involves determination of wages and salaries matching with contribution made by employees to organizational goal so under compensation the hr manager will make sure that how, however efforts the employees are putting that much salary they or wages they are getting so there must be a balance between the efforts put by the employees and the wages and salaries which they are getting in return in other words this function ensures equitable and fair remuneration for employees in the organization because if the organization are not if the employees are not getting a equitable and fair remuneration ultimately they will get demotivated and they will not give their 100% so it consists of activities such as job evaluation wage and salary administration bonus incentive etc so all these things are taken care by an hr hr manager under compensation function the next one that is maintenance it is concerned with protecting and promoting employees while at work for this purpose various benefits such as housing medical educational and transport facilities etc are provided to the employees several social security measures such as provident fund pension gratuity group insurance etc are also arranged so it is saying that under the maintenance factor a maintenance function see the hr manager will procure the employees he will look after their development he will look after their compensation so he has to look after their maintenance also he has to keep in mind that the employees he has to retain the employees that the employees should not leave the organization frequently he has to reduce the employees turnover so to re remove or reduce the employees turnover he will make sure that the employees are being provided various facilities like he has to make sure that the employees are being protected and promoted while at work and for pr promoting them or for protecting them you can say that for protecting them the employees are given various medical insurance they are given medical insurance facility for the employees dependent members also even you can see that in organizations the employees are given housing facility also medical facility also if any employee is interested in completing his education or he want to go for further higher education so organization provide such opportunities also to its employees just to give a feeling to the employee that the organization is uh, looking after the welfare of the employees so these were the functions which were, which are performed by an 
एच आर मैनेजर नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दैट इज इशूज एंड चैलेंजेस इन एच आर एम सो देर आर वेरियस चैलेंजेस और वी कैन से इशूज विच अकर इन एच आर एम द फर्स्ट वन दैट इज ग्लोबलाइजेशन सो ग्लोबलाइजेशन इज अ प्रोसेस बाय विच अ बिजनेस फॉर्म और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्टार्ट ऑपरेटिंग ऑन एन इंटरनेशनल स्केल creating international influence Inter- internationalization of firms is obviously a sign of success but it is a challenge at the same time because globalization invites issues related to unknown language laws work ethics attitude management approach culture and tradition a human resource manager will need to deal with more heterogeneous functions such as scheduling meetings holiday management human resource outsourcing etc to overcome the challenge so it is saying that the first challenge which is faced by an hr manager that is of globalization so because of globalization you can see that a particular firm is trading outside its country also so when it is trading outside or it is dealing with the outside um, world so uh, it uh, recruit the people from the outside world and whenever you are recruiting people from different countries there will be some problems like there will be language barrier among the people there will be difference in the laws of various countries and work ethics there will be a attitude problem among, among the employees because they are belonging to different background so these are the various problems which are faced by an hr manager he has to look after all these things like there are some other problems which are being faced by an hr manager like he has to schedule the meeting if a, because he has uh, because in an organization because of globalization various people from different part of the company country are working together so there is a time difference so he has to schedule the meeting accordingly he has to look after the holiday management he has to look after the human resource outsourcing also so it is a very tough task for the hr manager but he has to make sure that all these things have been managed by him properly now the next issue which is faced or which is uh, a challenge for an hr manager that is workforce diversity the composition of the workforce is getting diverse at present situation just now we have discussed the diversity in the workforce is due to the globalization so here diversity is not only created by age gender educational background and religion but also by the nature personality and background of workers with more diversification of workforce issues related to bullying harassment discrimination etc may arise to control which hrm should formulate and implement strict rules and regulations so just now because of globalization some different issues are faced by a hr manager but there are some other issues also which have been faced by an hr manager like because the there is a workforce diversity people are coming from different backgrounds they have different personality they have different nature because of which there are some problems like bullying or you can say harassment or there is discrimination among the employees so all these problems are faced by an hr manager and he has to make sure that all these problems you know, how to remove or how to reduce all these problems he will take corrective actions or he will look after all these things and he will make sure that the employees get a proper healthy working environment in the organization nobody is get is being get bullied by any person he will look after the harassment also various uh, harassment cells are opened in an organization so he will look after all these things these are the challenges which a hr manager faces the next one that is recruiting new staff 
कंपनीज समाइम नीड टू रिक्रूट न्यू टैलेंट फॉर वेरियस रीजन्स सच एज एन इंक्रीज इन प्रोजेक्ट स्कोप ऑपरेशंस वाइल्ड रिक्रूटिंग एच आर एम फेसिस मेजर चैलेंजेस एग्जाम्पल सेलेक्टिंग द बेस्ट कैंडिडेट एंड मेकिंग द हायर कैंडिडेट फैमिलियर विद द इन्वायरमेंट एंड कल्चर लाइक इट इज सेंग दैट वेन एवर द वेरियस चैलेंजेस विच आर बींग फेस्ड बाय एन एच आर मैनेजर अमंग दोज चैलेंजेस वन चैलेंज दैट इज रिक्रूटिंग न्यू स्टाफ Firstly, the HR manager will put so much effort in selecting a proper, or we can say, a well-qualified candidate for a particular job. Once that candidate is being selected, then the um, the HR manager will make sure, and he will make that new employee familiar with the org organization. So he has to look after that also that the new employee is comfortable with the existing employees. He will have to look after his uh, comfort also. HRM has to select such candidates which are not only technically expert but so, but socially too because the company cannot receive expected output from employees who are unable to socialize. this affects the productivity of the company so while selecting a candidate the hr manager has to make sure that the candidate is technically sound as well as well as he is socially he is a social person because suppose he is selecting a candidate who is having good uh, technical knowledge but he is not able or he is very introvert so this introvert person won't be able to cooperate with the other people so ultimately the company cannot receive expected output from the employees now the next challenge which is faced by hrm is increase in the size of workforce with the increase in the size of the organization and emergence of multinational companies the number of people working in the organization has also increased the management of this increased workforce is a challenge for the human resource management so it is saying that because of the size as we can say that now the multinational companies the companies are being working with the outside world so they have become multinational companies and the size of a mnc is bigger and if the size is bigger there will be a lot of employees or there will be a numerous number of employees in the organization so the managing a few number of employees is a easy task as compared to managing a large size of workforce so again it is a challenge for an hr manager the next challenge which is being faced by an hr manager that is advancement in technology with rapid advancement in technology company nowadays require such human force that has the ability to learn and cope with the changes at an or opportunate moment technological changes must be taken into consideration by any kind of company it is because the present world demands every firm to move along with the change or as be left behind and get extinct technical technological changes influence overall nature of work and the company will need to find out employees that are capable to adjust with the change during this process unemployment as well as employment opportunities arises creating new challenges for hrm so hr manager also faces a challenges because there we can see that there are continuous advancement in the technology and the employees have to be very quick learner to adapt with the technology so if they are, they are not able to easily adapt with the new technology so again it is a problem for an hr manager because if people are not able to adapt with the new technology then the firm or the organizational organization will start the process of layoff 
द एम्प्लॉय विल हैव टू रिजाइन और ही विल हैव टू लीव द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिकॉज ही इज़ नॉट एबल टू लर्न द न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी सो द एम्प्लॉ द एच आर मैनेजर हैज टू मेक श्योर दैट वेन एवर ही इज सेलेक्टिंग द कैंडिडेट्स दे आर अ क्विक लर्नर दे मस्ट बी एबल टू quickly adapt with the new technology otherwise advancement in technology will also become a big challenge for the hr manager the next one that is downsizing downsizing means reducing the strength of employees through planned elimination of positions and jobs because of global global competition most of the companies want to reduce cost and be competitive so downsizing refers to reduction of the size of the organization by re- resorting to reducing so you can see that frequent layoffs have been taken by the companies because they want to save their cost and they want to be competitive they want to give a tough competition to their competitors so because of that they adopt the process of downsizing so yes downsizing is also a problem or a challenge for an hr manager the next challenge which is being faced by a hr manager is retention so retention hiring employees is not only the challenge that hr faces retaining them is also one retention of employees is essential to minimize employee turnover rate this is a major challenge for hr hrm because retaining the employees is a tough task nowadays the employees are give, getting various opportunities in the other firms and they are not uh, getting a secure feeling because the companies uh, practice layoff and because of this layoff practice the employees d- does not get a secure feeling and if they are not getting that secure feeling they will definitely leave the organization so giving them a feeling of security is very important for an hr manager if he is not able to give the feeling of security to his employees then it is a difficult then it will be difficult for the hr manager to retain his employees and if he is not able to retain his employee then for how much long he will keep on selecting or recruiting the new candidates again a huge amount of investment is incurred on the selection and recruitment process so company has to save their cost in recruitment and selection also if they want to give a tough competition to their competitor so these were the various challenges which are being faced by an hr manager so that's all for today thank you